Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you wanna see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's gonna look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. This is our 12-2 low voltage direct burial wire. This is our most commonly used low voltage landscape lighting wire, which is great for any landscape lighting systems of 20 to 30 lights or less. But if you want more info on how to properly size your wire and your transformer, go to YouTube and search Lighting Doctor how to size your transformer, and we have tons of great videos that talks more about how to use the proper wire in your landscape lighting project. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. This is the DBRY Waterproof Landscape Lighting Connectors. These are great for long lasting, low voltage landscape lighting connections. Each one of these tubes is gel filled to help keep the water out, as well as it's got a snapping mechanism to keep your wires from pulling apart which ensures that you're gonna have long lasting connections for all your low voltage landscape lighting. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here and one of the questions I get asked all the time is how do I drill underneath the sidewalk? Go and get a simple bulb planter drill. You can get it on amazon.com. It's about a $20 bit, but it's a simple and easy way to get wire under any sidewalk or go to YouTube and search Lighting Doctor how to tunnel under a sidewalk for more great tips. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I just wanna show you one of the, probably the most important tools that you can get for burying your landscape lighting wire is just a simple flat spaded shovel for making sure you get that wire nice and deep in the ground. All right, so one of, the, one of the things I get asked is how to bury the wire. Um, in a mulch area like this, what I like to do is just you know, just with a flat shovel or a rake is just move the mulch or whatever you have back from wherever you want to lay that wire. And then I just go around with a, a flat ended spade and basically just make a cut and just loosen that dirt up. And give it a, a good place for the wire to sit. And then afterwards, A tool like this is going to be your best friend. You can find this in any garden section. I don't even know what it's called. Um, a flat ended screwdriver will work well too. Uh, the reason I like this is because it's got the two little prongs that you can help, uh, that helps just push the wire down. And then after I just go and I start pushing that wire down into, into the dirt, get it nice and deep. Because this is low voltage, you don't have to have it 18 inches or or a foot down. Um, and then the other thing I like to do just to help secure it is every once in a while, um, just a simple landscape stake like this, and just throw it over the wire and hammer it down. And that'll just help that as you're gardening and stuff, if uh, you happen to, uh, to dig it up or catch it with a rake, all that wire is not gonna pull out. It's just gonna help secure it down. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.